Welcome everybody to The Wolf Among Us. Um, this is a telltale game that I've been wanting to play for a really long time and I've owned it for a really long time. I really enjoyed The Walking Dead telltale games. This is one that I've heard really, really good things about. And all I know is it's about fables and stuff like that. You know, Little Red Riding Hood. It's supposed to also be kind of like a, it gives me kind of like a Sin City vibe. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's one of the higher rated telltale games um, and I don't know anything about it, which is a pro and a con. You know, I also want to play like the Batman one because I know a lot about Batman, but you'd be able to see a lot of things coming if you know about Batman, you know, but in this, all I know is like, watch out grandmas. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. Let's get into it. Episode one. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Write that down chat. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they may have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Nice. Quick, easy exposition to the point. If you missed it, a uh, record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now. That humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the Do air love is, the Telltale art style. Can hold. So 103 with 31. Oh, it's a Vertigo comic. A lot more humid than say 73 with 31% humidity, and it is muggy out there. Always starting in a car. This is how the Walking Dead one started too. We're going to find the sussy uh, fairy tale people. My hands are like on the mouse and keyboard. Like I've got WASD like all like clamped up and my hand on the mouse as if like I'm about to do some hardcore gaming. Uh, season two is still coming. Uh, we were actually just uh, uh, reading about that uh, before you came in. Tenement building, South Bronx, sometime after midnight. Because uh, basically, Telltale went bankrupt, but then oh, shit. a company bought up all their IP. Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I'll just step out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I've heard enough of your excuses, Toad. This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. We're playing you hardball. Can't send me up to live with those animals. We're trying to keep everyone safe, you, you know? know? what I mean? We Go have to be the bad guy. We have to be the bad guy. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Mr. Toad will remember costs, that. It's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. You have to like explain that it's See? like this is what I told you about, Sheriff. It's, it's, a, it's to protect there. everyone. Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. So, what am I walking into exactly? A uh, woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. <laughs> this is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Why is he so, so pissed? Set him off. Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. <laughs> Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. He hears a lady and he's like, alright, I'm going. New Book of Fables entry unlocked. 
Furry prick dog shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. Oh, you little frog. Wolf to take you away. No. Then get that fuck back inside. Ooh, remind me after the cutscene. I'm gonna change out for. No, I fucking am. You hear me? One second. I want to change my title so I can put. Uh... With episode one in it, so people know where we're at. Look at me. Okay. What do we got over here? Matchbook. Let's go. Look. Things you pick up can be useful later. Know who I am now? Hey, look at me. God damn you. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, whoa, hey. whoa. You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? Uh, oh, uh, I'll fucking kill you! All right, uh, 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 what are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. You're drunk, all right? Think this through. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. QTEs, baby. Oh shit. Gotta calm down. Put him on the couch. Had enough? At least it's a fucking challenge. Oh, throat punch, baby. Into the bookshelf. Back off, asshole. Oh, dodge. Sweep the leg. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. You ain't got no shot, buddy. Oh, into the bed. Hit him with the crotch shot. You want to win a fight? You just hit him in the dick. A lot more interaction in this one than I remember in the previous ones. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bugged my god, you bastard! And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, okay. this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. Why was he hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I asked you first. 
He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. That's gonna hurt. Oh, oh. Shit. At least you had that nice car there to break your fall. Oh no. Hey Toad. My car. Oh no. Give me a second. Oh no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. So uh how good is your insurance? <laughs> I, can't be made I feel that. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be made. Well, Elizabeth from uh, Bioshock for sure. End up more fucked than they started. Would that make me well, literally a big daddy? Did I did protect her. <laughs> Dark feature of 1996. <laughs> I was gonna say, I need. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh... Oh shit. No. Oh my god. Spam. Spam. Oh, come on. Stop filling up. No. Oh, come on. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. I know I'm filling it. Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. Yeah, but I am. It's more from me. He'll be. I'll kill you, you <laughs> fucking bitch. Thanks, Fire Fair. Guy's having a bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. I'm not a big daddy, I'm actually just a papa. Matches. Bam. Here. Thanks. I should have just lit it for her. Not smooth enough. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Come on. Wait a second. Hey, you like my ribbon? If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. She is answering your questions, dude. I'm answering them the best that I Yes! Can. Oh my god, I think I just big brained this. She's under a curse. She can only say these lips are sealed. The ribbon, if you take the ribbon off, she'll be able to actually tell everything. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another, but... 
they're going to do it. He's going to take the ribbon off. Then she's going to be able to talk. And if that's true, if you guys play the game, please don't spoil it. I literally, I literally have know nothing about this game. I just like to make bold predictions. Have a good night, Arthur's guy. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. He hit you. He needs to pay for that. Only played the first chapter. To okay. Give, Sheriff, I checked. Besides, I just swung an axe into the guy's head. I'd say we're even. Maybe I should be arresting you. Snow, that's my bold I'm prediction. I'm not going to be doing this for much longer. So, now's your chance. How much was the OJ? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. Oh ho ho ho! I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh, it's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a state. Oh, I bet you I could have given money to, to Toad if I, what I have. meet me um, back in my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by. Um, if I was a little kinder to him. Panda, yes, it is my first uh, first time playing. How you doing, man? Welcome. Good to know. Love the cosplay. What? He looked like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Wow, tell me what you really think. Hey, I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll see you around, Wolf. Cause I happen to be wearing a white button up with a tie and jeans and facial hair. It's bad I'm balding, so my hair's not long enough. <laughs> now I just need to punch myself in the face a couple times. I even I I I did I literally did uh I was like ah why not? Might as well. Just I mean like I already have an outfit that looks like his, so I might as well, you know? Um, I literally looked for an old pack of cigarettes, but I didn't have any. I had like one, but the box is all beat up because I haven't, I haven't bought cigarettes in a long time. I love these vibes. I need to make sure I, I forgot to change the question of the day today. Someone give me a good question of the day and then I'll update Nightbot. Jokes are for jokes, bud. I tell a lot of jokes. Smoking is bad for you anyway. All the best video games worlds would get me killed. What about like Animal Crossing? The Woodland Luxury Apartments, Fable Town, late. Yeah, you're above smokers, you're a pure vapist. No, I still smoke sometimes. All right, what do we got? We got plaque, we got the gate. Right, let's look at the plaque. Luxury All right, see you with this guy. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. game was like a good version of that Once Upon a Time show. I had a couple friends that really, well, not really friends, mostly like my friend's moms really loved that show. I saw that Sam Witwer was in it for a little bit. I think he was Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Um, 
And so I'm I kind of wanted out. to watch the scenes with just him because he's like one of my favorite actors. Yeah, of course. All right, all right. I mean, I'm close to your mom, so why wouldn't I be close to everyone else's? Hello, Big B. Hey, stay off the grass, lady. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Is that supposed to be Red Riding Hood? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, you can't. Damn it, I'm late. I mean, maybe under the hair. Did the big bad wolf wear a fucking white button up and? You won't tell Beast you saw oh, it's got it. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. That's supposed to be Bell then. Whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. Well, I guess I'm staying out of it. I guess she'd just be Beauty, right? Yeah. I oh, have nailed it. To go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta remember that this is more the. Uh, it's not what. Um. You yeah, for sure. Be thinking. I definitely want to do that. Um, because it's it's you know the fables instead of like what they were turned into. So. Yeah. Exactly. More uh more akin to like the grim fairy tales. Which is always interesting to learn like just how different they were. Like how messed up some of it can be. And what do we got here? So we got a sleeping dude, pseudo armor. Uh, we don't want to walk. We don't want to check him yet. So let's look at the mailbox. Maybe open it before we, he'll probably wake up when we open it. But been a while since I got any mail. That's a nice feature. If he's two o four, look at all these other ones. How they're all dark. And this one's light. If that's on purpose, that's that's clever. Oh, I think he might have been two o three. Day in a row. It's grim and kind of grim. Yeah. I actually just finished watching the show Grim not too long ago. Touch the suit of armor. He's out cold. Uh, talk to. Look at the desk. Brothers Grim. Yeah. Not the Brothers Grim. Didn't they have, what was there, the Brothers Grimsby or something like that with Sasha Baron Cohen? Hey, you wink. Oh, Grimble. Hmm. Probably for the best. So they're just going to basically say that Brothers Grim are just fucking dog shit. <laughs> Or maybe one of them's dog and he's a wolf. <laughs> G, so Grim Rimble. G Rimble. I want to look at that again. Beast Mr. Uh, uh, J Horner. B Beard K Cole. Um, F Catcher. I guess we could probably see it, but just that, right? Um, S White. Okay, well, we, we know Snow White. K Cole. B Beard. J Horner. I wonder which fairy tale has Kenneth Cole in it. Yeah, right? They probably got some really nice shirts. Oh. Big B's name tag. Damn thing fell off again. <laughs> I just realized. Big B Wolf. Big Bad wolf i understand i i, I kind of understood it but like i didn't understand the extent of it yeah <laughs> it's cute all right well guess we're going up to our uh, apartment This game made me want to try smoking. <laughs> Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Ah, uh, Beast. Have you seen Beauty? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever <laughs> it is, Beast. 
I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's I highly recommend on. trying a cigarette at a party after you're really drunk. And then just puking your brains out. Just kidding. I'm not I'm not I don't I don't encourage smoking at all. I have three times it wasn't fun. Okay, well, fair enough. Also, Panda, are you in my Discord or not? Did you see the did you see the picture I posted for the, the wedding I'm going to? I was looking pretty nice. I haven't up in Discord in it. Fair enough. Damn. Should have cracked a window. Wait, did he just walk in, pick up the phone, and put it down so he doesn't get calls? That's funny. How's your dial-up gonna work, dude? Yeah, that was a big thing I noticed when I stopped smoking. Um, is just like how... Like, I smoked for so long, and then I quit. And then I started up again. Like, I quit when my daughter was born. Well, before my daughter was born. Um, and I quit for a couple years. Um, and then kind of picked it up a little bit for like another almost year. Um, and then I quit again. And now, like, I'll have the occasional cigarette. Um, you know, if someone else has them, you know, I don't mind it. But, uh, yeah, the secondhand smell, uh, I just, I didn't realize just how fucking Why awful it can be. It, I think it honestly got worse for me because, like, I guess I was attuned to smelling it so quickly and I knew instantly what it was since I was a smoker for so long. Um, as opposed to, like, it just kind of being in the background, I guess. I don't know. Real sensitive to them? Yeah. Yeah, I know some people are, it's like, it's really, 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 really bad for. I've got a friend of mine, actually, a really close friend of mine. Um, he's actually going to be at the wedding. Uh, he just couldn't, like, was super, super bad with smoke, um, like any kind of smoke. And so, um, P. Pennyworth and a Bluebeard. Bluebeard is a. Never trust Um. I know from the show Grimm, Bluebeard are like those kind of, they're kind of trolls and they can um, like influence people, I think. But yeah, but so my friend like, he, oh, what the heck? All in. What am I calling him? Uh, about those nicotine pouch things, they're tobacco -less or something. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, same thing with like, uh, like, uh, Nicorette gum or something. Or are you just making a pun right now? I'm waiting for it. Uh, let's see. Before we wake him up, let's see if there's anything else we can do here. At least this still works. Uh,. Yeah, I mean they've got different brand names. Probably a bad sign. Z something? Should help. Hey, Colin. Get up. Uh, huh. Hey, Big B. Oh, yeah, Zin. I'm in your chair, huh? Uh, my my buddy who uh, let's see. I've only got the one. Uh, my buddy who's getting there. married, he has those sometimes. I tried one and it was terrible, so bad. Because he likes to do chew a lot, um, but if he doesn't have anywhere to spit, then he'll use like a Zin, a uh, little, it's like a little pouch. Usually prefer my Zin in the Fandel family. <laughs> Dude, facts. Got a smoke? Not even gonna give your homie a smoke. Okay, thank God. Oh, he's gonna blow it through his. He's gonna blow it through his pig nose. Oh damn. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these. We'll be even on that house you owe me. Ah! Stop. Psst. 
Shin keeps sneaking off the floor. Because he, cause he blew, the, blew the house down. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some so, prison, okay? So don't I guess he's a... Uh, back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. So, is, on, so is the Big Bad Wolf different from the wolf that um, Chase Red Riding Hood done? for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, <laughs> it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Mmm, yummy. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would if you could. Probably. <laughs> but, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. True. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables. Sometimes I take them uh, too far. No, I've I've always gone as really, really, really simple costumes. Um, that are like borderline meta. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. Because I always wait until the very last day. Big, and being bad. By being big and But being I do want to do uh, Mario and Luigi with Nico this year. Shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. We tried to do it last year, but we waited too late. So I gotta remember like I gotta set a reminder for like October first to go get the costumes. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Nice. What was your most recent costume? Uh, I don't actually know her name. <laughs> awesome. Great example. I see what you did there. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I nice. wouldn't have to keep talking. I love some next generation. Wait, that doesn't make Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. Went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Uh, yeah, give him the drink. What would you say your favorite costume you ever had? And Fire, you can answer this too. I encourage you to. What would you say your favorite costume you've ever done? And what would you say your best costume you've ever done? Hmm. Who's at the door? Why are they getting all pissy? Housekeeping? Big B. Snow? Come with me. Really great Jedi one. Nice. Snow. You also have that wizard outfit now too, right? Snow. What? No, it's white. Sorry, I'm... What is it? Uh, slow down. Just... Slow down. There was Riff Raff from Rocky Horror. We need but to. best was Woody from Toy Story. Hi. Hello. I want to see both of those. Good morning. Or 
evening. Which one was Riff Raff and Rocky Horror? Yeah. Was he one of the main characters or was he a side character? We need to be careful. Handyman with the crazy we'll hair. We'll talk outside. I kind of remember it, but it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. That, that movie's so freaking good. I watched I watched the songs uh, um, recently, or I like listen to the or watch the scenes with the songs recently because I'm just like, oh, those songs are so good. I think it was uh, when they when I saw they did like a a new version of them or whatever, like a it was like a Broadway thing, but then it was like. I don't know. It was one of those ones where it's like, mm, I like the old one better. Tim Curry was just perfect. And wasn't that Alec Baldwin, like a young Alec Baldwin or something? Or no, that's um, that's Beetlejuice, right? Jack Black recorded Time Warp a bit ago, just for fun. Okay, I will check out that. Jack Black's a national treasure. No. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. The ribbons in her mouth. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. A working girl. A working girl. I don't. I mean, I'm a working. Come on. Oh. Woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. But he no. was dead, wasn't he? You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just... Give Unless they're really hard to kill? It's just... Terrible. So, who found her? This also kind of makes me want to play L.A. Noir. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P. Noir Nick, yeah. Did one of us? And then we'll just play Disco Elysium. Been a murder of and, we'll just, a and then we'll do the Telltale time. Batman because, like, All that's the detective also, you know? Panic before we know what's going on. We'll, just, we'll just be solving mysteries. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Scooby-Doo games? Are there any good Scooby-Doo games? Like old, maybe like PS2 ones? Uh, examine the mouth, because there's the ribbon. What is... The ribbon, right? It's... A ribbon. There's a ring on some it. Some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Queen of Hearts, off with her head. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something. I'm amazing. on this. I'm literally a detective. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. I might have been wrong about the ribbon thing, okay? But I'm I'm right about this. It was the Cheshire Cat in the ballroom with the candlestick. That's brutal if they if he did this with a candlestick. Also, I like her jacket, the little snowflakes. It's a cute touch. I'm I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. I wonder what the A's on the uh, her earrings are for. Um, what? Or if they're supposed to be A's. What do you want to do next? Or they're just little Among Us dudes. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Okay. Can't click the ring. Kind of like stylized pearls. Yeah, it might. It might just be like. Um. Oh, can he smell it? Maybe? Got that wolfy powers? Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. 
Don't walk on the evidence. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't that looks like them. jeans to you? Look white. I guess you can have white jeans, I guess. Just some loose trash. Is it though? Surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. Blood on the fence post. Yep. More blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Okay. I'm trying to think of... So, I'm calling the Queen of Hearts, or whatever or the head cutting. It's also possible maybe the woodsman I don't really remember the woodsman having anyone like any allies or something like that, but I don't know much about the woodsman to be confident in that. Oh yeah, short short the fabric. Always has an axe to grind. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. Oh. We don't have much time. Oh. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? This is a message. It's true. I she did get dropped off at his I get place. Complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? The victim. She could be a symbol for something. That's not really what I meant. That's not really what I was trying to say. I meant to say it was more a message for me, but whatever. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. <laughs> he needs to know. King Cole. And he's going to find out anyway. So we may as well get out in front of it. We wait. should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. And I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds reasonable, but I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. <laughs> Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. If a woodsman is accused of a crime and you get him acquitted, did you help a lumberjack off? Oh, you silly goose. What are you, blind? What, you don't see there's a line? Oh, Ichabod Crane. Been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever oh. the fuck you like. I don't have time for this. Yeah, you and all the rest of them. Sleepy in there. Hollow. Headless Horseman. Fucker. Damn it. Bummer. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. Who's the voice for uh, Bigby? Sheriff, Anyone know? You are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. 
Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Show who? Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. Oh. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was you're baiting me. It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go Adam on. Adam Harrington? You two need to get a Would I know him from anything else? Quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? I was sad uh, Joe Manganiello um, didn't get to be Deathstroke. I will. Oh, his massage, huh? Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Jeez, that's kind of a dick. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. We'll say his background roles in video games. Oh, okay. So this is kind of a big role for him. You would have just pissed him the off. Fruit? All right. Oh, I could definitely well, hear him doing a group voice. Well, so in the video games, he voiced Groot. Because Vin Diesel was the you so. live action. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. To get our ducks in a row. Let Chuck. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and. Never mind. The Chuck. Smoke away. Get some morning massage. What was the what's the, what the wine's about? Massage. Probably. Grumpus Goblin. Thanks so much for the follow. Yeah, I appreciate you. He's actually being nice to someone. I know. I bought that damn bottle. Also, did is, my are my alerts just not working? Gone. Yes, thankfully. I didn't see any pop up. Game absolutely slaps. Hello, Miss. I've been looking forward to playing it for a long time. Drinking. A grumpus among us. <laughs> yeah, true. Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Remind me on my next How break. I'll, today, uh, I'll fix Bacon? my alerts. I'm fine. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with Among all us. the fables in it. Sussy. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. A green monkey with wings is clearly Beast Boy in disguise. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information. I mean, all I can think of is um. Somewhere. Uh. We'll at least Wizard of Oz. Her real but, name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. But I don't know. Meantime, I don't know which ones are fables and which ones are like actual. Or like different stories, you know. Really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Played the beginning of it in my freshman college room, which was a little while ago. Such nostalgia. Hey, well, hey, I'm happy you're here. Hi. Yeah. Um, I'm just calling to let you know that. Uh, Adam played a couple of characters in The Walking Dead. Okay, maybe that's what I remember him from. Coming in early for his They're all fables, I think. Maybe except maybe one or two. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, I don't remember if Wizard of Oz was based off a of fable, you know. Um, here, let me, give me one second here. Let me see. Alerts. I'm just going to fix this real quick. Cause, uh, this happened when, uh, Aaron dropped some bits in here on my last stream. And then the, I didn't see or hear the alert go off. And I don't, I think I caught it quick enough to look and I didn't see the alert. So let me just, uh, Double check here. Um, alerts. Alert box. Settings. Unless you guys heard it. Let's see, I'm just going to emulate one real quick. I don't know why it did two different sounds. Let's 
Try it again. <laughs> right, one more time, because I do have a variation on it. It's not seeming to hit the variations. Well, it's a 10% chance for the vari the variable ones. Here, we'll change it to 20% uh, for all of them. That means the default should happen 20% of the time. Let's try this. Sorry guys for the intermission. You guys are like, oh my god, he's getting so many followers. <laughs> I don't know why it's just not I don't even have that sound saved on here anymore Let me try this. follower hype alright maybe that fixed it who knows let me just make sure I've got the right URL you got someone's playing Skyrim hard. True. Uh, let's see if this is the right link. It ends with U Y U. Yeah, should be should be right, but just put it up at the top, maybe. Maybe it was getting hidden by something. Skyrim soundbite. <laughs> yep. Well, unfortunately, I can't. Um, wait, can I do it through here? No, unfortunately, I can't re resend your alert in. But I think I think you'll forgive me. Anyway, uh, such. Hopefully, that fixed it. But either way, uh, you heard it. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm just fucking crazy. Got it. Yeah, wasn't it like they ran out of, like, the license was only for a certain amount of time? I wonder how much that goes for now. Maybe if I, f I bet you if I went to, like, a GameStop or something like that, I bet you could find, like, a PS4 copy for, or PS3 copy for relatively cheap. Unless they recognize that you can't get it anymore. Why isn't the Telltale? Yeah, yeah. Still need to finish the Game of Thrones one. Yeah, the Game of Thrones one would be hey, pretty cool, too. Mayor, I got a question. You know the rules. Oh, hey! I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. Nice. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, Thanks, Grumpus. Was that so hard? I tried to pretend earlier that it was Two totally accident, but from kicking a hole in you. it is just like a normal outfit I would wear too. And I was like, "Hey, look at that!" Of which fable do you wish to know? Um, let's do Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Hey, okay. put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Pure coincidence. You know, I just happen to have the sleeves rolled up and happen to have the, the tie and the white button up and you know Show me the facial way. hair. The only reason I don't have long hair is because I'm balding. Where is he? Oh wait, he what is alive. He is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? He is alive, I'm that's sorry, crazy. Baby. I can only show you what can be seen. Okay. Uh I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Okay, uh, Snow. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Shut up, mirror. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Keep that in mind. Uh. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Yes, uh, Grumpus, I do. I like that. You know, when I, when I can, I like to add add just a little bit of something to the stream. You know, 
I'm always trying to elevate. You stand a casual tie and slightly rumpled button up look. It gives tired protagonist looks. I mean, I am a tired protagonist, brother. It's my whole aesthetic. The funny thing is, I actually had these like exact pants too. Uh, and I was looking for them, and then I remembered that unfortunately I did they did get destroyed like six months back or so. Otherwise I was gonna be like full on and I was gonna gonna strut onto the scene. Right, what do we got here? Tarot deck? Yeah, I'll take that. Or tarot deck, however you wanna call it. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. There was a there was this one time, so I've got a friend of mine. Um she got a tarot deck because she like really likes that kind of stuff. She's also into like, you know, astrology and all that kind of stuff. And I remember early on in our friendship, um, you know, I was just talking shit because I was like, you know, that's me. Um, and she was like talking about astrology and I was saying like, oh, it's all bullshit. And like, it's all supposed to be super hyper relevant. Um, and then you basically just ignore the stuff that's not relevant. And that's why it seems so relatable to everybody. And she was like, no, no, no. And I was like, fine. Okay. Like, and she had a big book. It was like, um, like with, uh, with your like everyone's name or whatever or not everyone all the all the days of the year you know so she was like okay what's your birthday and uh i said i don't know let's say i said like july something or whatever you know so she looks it up she reads it and i'm like okay okay and i'm like smiling i'm like whoa she's like yeah see like isn't that crazy and i was like yeah because my birthday is december like my birthday is december 18th and she was like oh, that's such a Sagittarius thing to do. And I was like, fuck off. <laughs> but uh, fast forward years and years and years later, uh, she got tarot cards and she was like, oh, do you want to like do a reading? And I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? Sounds fun. So she does the thing uh, like and like you, you like she like shuffles the deck and then you cut the deck. Right. And then. She like sets it back up. She gives me three cards and it was just like miss, miss, miss. Like none of it was even close to relevant. And mind you, like I had a lot of things going on in my life at that point. And so like, I was like, like there was a lot of things that could be like, I had a lot of things that could be relatable. You know, if it was like, oh, you're going through a struggle or you, like you've got something big coming your way, like, et cetera. There's a lot of ways you could, they could have just easily picked up on something, you know? And uh, so I was, but it was like total miss, right? And I was with my, my, my best friend, Connor. Um, and so I kind of joked and I was like, oh, no, see, like in the instructions, it says I'm supposed to like, I'm like, I'm supposed to be the last one to touch the deck. So like I cut it and then like I, I put the deck back on top. That's probably why it messed up. And I was joking, right? So she shuffles it up. She hands me the deck. I cut it, you know, and then I stack it back on top. She flips the cards, starts reading the first one. And I was like, Okay, starts reading the second one. And I look over to Connor, who knows all the things that are like going on in my life at that point. And I'm like, okay, this is kind of freaking me out now. And she re starts reading the third one. I was like, I'm fucking done. Get this black magic out of here. I'm done. And then she was like, what? What? I'm like, no, that's like super freaky. Like the first time it was like 100% miss, 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 miss. And these were like hyper specific to what was going on in my life. And I was like freaking out. I was like, no, 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 no. It was, it was awful. Bit of a skeptic myself, but at the same time, I do love it when my friend does a tarot reading every now and then. It's interesting. Yeah, for sure. I, uh, my thoughts on those kind of things are, um, oh, Midgard. I like that. Asgard. Uh, my thoughts on it has always been, if it helps you and doesn't hurt anybody else, I'm all for it. And that goes for a lot of things, uh, in terms of like beliefs, you know? Um, my big issue is when people let it control, like if it's like, you know, you, you read your, your, for, or your fortune or your, uh, whatever, what, what's it called with astrology, your, um, uh, your reading or whatever of the day. Um, if it's like take risks, like star sign, well, it's like, it's like, it gives you a different one based off your star sign. Um, Horoscope, horoscope. Um, 
if they read it and it's like, oh, take risks because like you're a, you're a brave person and like blah, blah, blah. And then that encourages them to like take a risk that they wouldn't have taken that is like a healthy one, you know? I'm like, hell yeah, like I'm all for it. And like, that's, that's a positive thing. But when it's like, it says like, uh, let's say they just started dating someone new and they like really like them and things are going really good. And then their horoscope says like, you found new love recently. Don't be so trusting or whatever. And then they just like, sandbag the whole relationship because of that horoscope reading i'm just like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> like like you just why you're in control of your life at least you know the parts that you can control um so stuff like that's what? silly you know i can't read any of this shit i can help but you look blind as yeah. shit thanks we look out for each other don't overdo it. Buff guy. Translate. Hmm. An exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He hmm. probably wrote this in himself. Okay, what else we got here? Aragon. Aquitaine. Lotharin. Proximate. Proximatus. Loc. Tion, Plures, Mundos, Super Rundani Mundi. Anyone speak the language? We got Cinderella and her shit. Ah, the ring. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? I'm pretty sure that next page says something about Sagittarius. I'll go look it up. Every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Oh, it's donkey he, skin girl. Uh, also known as donkey skin. Ass skin. Also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Kate. Poetic. Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story my of sign. donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it yeah, became clear that's the kind of thing where I'd be like, no, no, no. Beauty was, uh, a donkey's ass. Daughter, oh. Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Oh, that was her. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we. Name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. I should go through and watch Avatar: The Last Airbender. I think I watched like. You think he did it? I kind of watched the first season, but I can't rule Nothing him out. Would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. So Prince or Prince Lawrence. For some reason, I'm thinking of uh, Prince Charming, but I don't think that's right. But especially if he was like making her sell herself, you know. Um, let's go talk to the mirror again. Now that we know her name. Mirror, mirror, blah blah, able, blah 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 about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Oh, wow, we got all of them. Okay. Show me. Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. I did call that. What? I did call that. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Big B. It's simply the way this has. I been. called that shit. I knew that was a spell. All right, Faith's father. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Okay. Guess that 
crosses him off the suspect list. Okay, Prince Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Uh, did he kill himself? What's he been doing? Where's that? What he? Where is? This? Cut her head Where's off with? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on. My opinion, Avatar We're doesn't hit his true stride until season two. So we should definitely do some watch parties on Firefield Street now. Sounds good to me. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. Bigby, it's me, Tom. You there? What, what do you want? want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he. Oh, well, hang on. Uh -oh. What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Let's, uh... There's a couple more things in here I wanted to look at. Set up for next Saturday. Tell you what, Firefair. We can watch Avatar The Last Airbender, the cartoon, on your watch party. And then I'll have a watch party of the superior version of Avatar The Last Airbender, the live action one by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> It'll be perfect. <laughs> This must be King Lawrence? Yeah. Oh no, King uh King Faith or Faith's father. You know what I mean. Uh Ichabod Crane, hat running from the uh headless horseman. Crane. Scared shitless. What's My that? poor heart, yeah. Boss. His finest moment. Heart Making it across the bridge. This place. Man of impeccable taste. Panda, if you haven't seen my uh, video on YouTube, um, type in exclamation point new vid. I played the entirety of... I, were you there for that stream? The Dragon Ball Evolution stream? I played the entirety of the game. Uh, and there were some pretty fucking funny moments in it. If I, if I do say so myself. It was pretty damn cursed. I make videos occasionally. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. I uploaded a couple shorts today. I think. A couple of them kind of popped off. It is a very weird game. Beauty and happier days. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Hmm. Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. Hmm. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Little Red Riding Hood's the killer. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Calling it. Dwarves. Less said about that, the better. Okay. And look, it's me. Me. Cargo, Capri, or short shorts. I'm not sure what that's referenced to. But, just in general, I would, I guess I would say Capris. What are Capris again? Let me see. What are Capris? Oh, God damn it, you fucking asshole.
Sorry guys, I got important stuff to respond to. Okay, remind me to call these two people back on my break. Uh, no, YouTube short, you silly goose. Oh, oops. I have two phone calls. God, actually, I should write this down because I'm literally going to forget. Um, no, I always have a pen at my desk. Oh, there it is. Okay. What is I, you guys have no idea about how bad my memory is. Two phone calls and work text. Okay. You always put men on your desks? Only if they're as cute as you, bud. Okay. Now I just have to remember that there's a piece of paper there. Okay. I think we explored everything in here. Can we take this? Oh wait, can we use the tarot deck again? Oh, we can't. Nice. The tower, so strength, the tower. And... Damn. Ten of swords. What the fuck is this supposed to mean? Um... Strength, the tower. Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords represents defense. Strength, tower. Tower is the building, and then strength is. I didn't really. I don't remember really remember what was on the picture of the strength one. I'm making all these predictions out loud, because then I can go back, and I can be like, look at all this shit I called. Like I called that she was under a spell. I got that one right. Damn it. I'm the world's greatest detective. Who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see. Him. That's crazy that the woodsman well, lived. Maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Well, where to first? I'm Batman. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Oh shit. Um um I don't want to go to Toad's apartment or I mean the the time sensitive one obviously feels like Toad's apartment. But I feel like Lawrence's apartment is it gonna is it gonna end up it's gonna end up being important. Oh god. Uh 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 We'll go to Toad's apartment. It's me, Toad. Big big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big Big, before he... Think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. I know, right? Because, like, the big first... You the first major did. decision in Walking Dead was, like, you literally... Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. ...getting someone killed or not. Ah, fuck, we'll go to Toad's apartment. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. Glass slipper Prince shoes. Nice. That's Snow's favorite okay. place to shop. Wait, not nah, Cinderella, damn it. News to him anyway. Complete chapter four of episode one. Alright, the woodsman's apartment. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. Oh, I should have grabbed more you coffee. Made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse in the day. Oh god, yeah. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Okay, my next bold prediction, okay? You ready? Shit. I still think Red is the killer. I think Red went to the witches to bring back the Huntsman. Because the Huntsman is like her, her boo. You know, like her savior. And... Because of that, maybe, maybe Red may, made, 
him kill what's her face. I don't even remember half of this shit. Should probably get that fixed. Yeah, dude, you like destroyed his whole freaking apartment. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? <laughs> Woodsman never did much reading anyway. I wonder if we could uh, take a look at the book. What kind of book would the Woodsman read? Ron Swanson's Guide for Woodmaking? What's that on the ground? Lollipop? Kind of creepy. How to hack it? The self-help for the axeman in you. Brava. Is that his son? Toads. I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad. You in there? Sweet stream, buddy. Very proud. Thank you. I appreciate you. Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, it's hard, by the way. I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. What do you mean? There wasn't, though. No, uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. Oh, Jared. So, you know, false alarm. <laughs> Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. There. Well, what's up, Jared? Someone, but they How you doing, buddy? We got here. Thanks for Is thanks for right? popping by. I'll get appreciate your dad's you. Ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you alright? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, mm. I guess you'll be taking off now. What's behind your back? Around here oh, anymore. I can stand there in his pocket. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. Somebody, Somebody was in your was building. In your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I'll know when I Feel appreciate that, brother. it, mate, but it's fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. And yeah, I've got to check things out. I have today and tomorrow right, off, because right. tomorrow I'm headed off to Ken's wedding. So. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you wishes. You know what? No, Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? We did go and see uh, Barbie, though. I'll see if I can get the picture from him. We took a picture a in a uh, cool. in the Barbie box. At first, I was like, "Can you want to take this picture? You want to take a picture in the Barbie box?" And he was like, "No." And I was like, "Just mind the upholstery while you're looking." And he was like, "Fine." But it was after we saw Oppenheimer. So, <laughs> where's the wedding? Um. I really should know, and I reminded myself to look it up yesterday. And but it's like I know it's like over two hours away. Help me so I can crash it. All right, this I'll, do I'll dox the wedding. Hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Or the boy was faffing about playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? Hmm. It pointed at that like I was supposed to... Ah! The lamp was not plugged in here. Because there's two outlets. Two things are already plugged in. The lamp has a cord. What would it have been plugged into? Hmm? Hmm, Mr. Toad? Riddle me that! I'm the world's greatest detective. Bleeding? Why? Is that blood still fresh? 
Oh, well, I cut me hand. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on furnishments. Blood yeah. in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a babel, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Oh, hey, you guys. Uh, someone give me a good question of the day so I can update Nightbot. Before it pops again. More blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. You said it was but your like hand. Shit, ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. I thought you cut your hand. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Ha! Yeah, no, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> You've got to be the worst <laughs> liar. Pants, really. I like how they put the uh, the outlet in the uh, the peripheral. Oh my god! Will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that oh, you happened. Oh, you can tell the height. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm yeah. not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Sure. Good thing you put your fingerprints all over that. Well, I guess... When when do you think this is? Because there's there's like a there's a poster that was like in the 1996 future or whatever. So I assume that this is probably like 70s or 80s, like around that time. Well, I guess we could look at like the TV. Okay, so maybe is this 60s. So like there wouldn't really be like fingerprinting. That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. Or, or maybe the that? lamp that was originally there. And then you threw it over there. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing. And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? The power because outlet. it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlet. Bow, bow, bow. It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And did not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? How many lies do I have to catch you in, bud? Little scratch marks. There's some marks here on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And I plumb forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. hmm. Hey! Jordan, thank you so much. Six months. You're the best, buddy. Appreciate you. Get some little double poggies in the chat. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Also realizing why I can't hear for shit on the, uh, on the alerts is probably because the volume is just like zero. 
Give me one second. I want, I want you guys to get all the love. Settings. That. 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 Back. Shit. Didn't save it. Hey, I like it. I swear, Jordan, that's like your favorite your favorite emote. All right, hopefully this doesn't like blow out someone's ears the next time someone does something. Un momento. Por favor. Her ears. <laughs> Place needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. Um, look around more. I don't have ears because I'm wearing headphones in the picture, buddy. Though most people think they are. Uh huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out what. Okay. I don't want to have to get tough with him. I just want to catch him, like, catch him in more lies. Also, playing this game without selections on. Um, oh, busted lash would. Uh, busted. I'd be yeah, clicking freaking lot. everything. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking log's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Also, if you guys don't know, oh wait, one second. Haha. Why'd you climb in through the window then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking lies. handle was fucking bastard. lies. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Big B. Come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I call, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say to my face that you think I'm hiding something from you. 
Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. Are you tell me the truth? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Lied, Toad. Toad. These stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. Uh oh. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle. Ha, tweedle D. Strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had. I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window. But he pulled me back in. What was he looking for? That's what no idea. Faith was really I looking for. You, I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, well, Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give a bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> uh, so... Sometimes borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine it, bit of dress it is. Is it going to be the donkey skin thing? No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Fine bit of fur, looks like. Wait. Oh. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Open it. Obviously. I'm sorry. Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. All right. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So the prince is now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Where was that guy, though? Lawrence's apartment, early morning. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Uh, focus on what the we saw in the mirror. mirror showed me this apartment. I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We are here on official Fabletown business, and we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Hmm. All right. Um, also, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, I am currently sponsored by Marvel Snap. It's not a sponsored part of the stream right now, but uh, 
If you guys are interested in the game, exclamation point snap, or you can click the panel in my description. You can download the game. It's free on Steam. You get level, if you get season pass three, eight, 18, it does support the channel. Just wanted to pop that in there real quick. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, we'll get back to the game. I just wanted to throw that out there because it is a game I actually really like. Um, so it'd be cool if uh, I got sponsored by them again. So thanks. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside. Uh, yell in, look at... Let's just look at the door real quick. Ah, it's open. Oh. Don't just peep into someone's He's house. Dead. He's dead. home. How much you want to bet he died while we were at the frog's place or toad's place sorry my bad was his hand a bone no okay oh my god oh god hey hey stay with me Lord. No. Be all right. no. Let me go. These guys have just insane constitution. What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water, kitchen. Hmm. Or is Snow White the killer? Pay the rent next week. Uh, pizza's in the fridge. Please don't look for me. Goodbye. Did you find it yet? He's going to be dead. to you <laughs> Faith. he was gonna say faith no matter what I said classic telltale did this Let's look at him Pills you got, buddy. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Wow. He really was just uh going for anything. What is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Basically every way you can kill yourself is here. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Okay, maybe they can get fingerprints. That 
matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. So it hasn't been fired in a week or more? That doesn't really help. My mouse. Okay, let's look at the knife. It's sharp. There's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Do you think that was taken? Before all this. Bullet hole. Bullet passed through the chair. Yeah. The angle works if he shot himself. So he shot himself over a week ago? And it took him this long to die? I guess these fable fabellions or whatever are really fucking hard to kill. Unless, let's look at the book of fables. Lawrence. Prince Lawrence, Faith's husband. After escaping the homelands, Prince Lawrence and his wife Faith immediately fell victim to the harsh realities of the mundane world. They moved to the New York, uh, moved to New York, hoping to find aid in community of fellow fables, but without enough money to live in Fable Town, they had to settle in an apartment in the outskirts of the neighborhood. Unfortunately, that meant they were out of sight and out of mind when it came to government assistance. Their prospects dwindling, Faith left Lawrence to try to make it on her own. Now, without his wife to support or for support, Lawrence struggles to motivate himself and quickly sinks into depression. They're naturally indestructible. Maybe they're born with it, but maybe it's Fabeline. Jesus, dude. <laughs> Dusty. No one's read these in a while. I've I've quickly grown to accept that I will never be as funny as you, dude. Read the note again, I guess. Maybe with new, new insight. No. I want to see what's up there, but maybe it's just mayonnaise. Okay. okay we did all that. Pull out bed. Oh, another note. What does it say? My dearest Faith. It's stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you. You groaned to accept it. Jesus. I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. What did he do? Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Can look at the bullet hole again, I guess. All right, let's look at it again. Sounds good, brother. Thanks so much for hanging out, man. It was good to see you. Have fun with the doggos. Got nothing else in here. Okay. Oh, here we go. What's in the closet? Oh, Jesus Christ! Stay here. No. Why 
Why do I get startled so easily? Hey, stop! Leave me alone! Oh, dodge. QTEs, QTEs. Oh, let's go. Oh, dip, duck, dodge. Oh, shit. Get him. Uh, in this one. The thing was moving, that's why I clicked it. Oh, got him. Oh. Huh. Leroy! Oh. oh, the tarot card. some questions for Larry. Didn't think it'd go how it did. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. Liar. I couldn't stop him, man. Liar. You're looking for the woodsman, right? He lied. I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Uh, the fuck? Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much oh, easier for you. Oh, Tweedledee, Tweedledum. I'm D. He's dumb. I, I thought I, if I hit him, then it would be like. He almost looked peaceful. I can call him a, a liar. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you and the other one finished kicking you. That explains the ribs. <laughs> Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Please chapter five, episode one. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. I mean, we're on episode is the two. only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just mm. feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I'm not going to make any predictions. Not in front of her. I don't know or just won't say. Silence left her unsure. Hmm. Thanks I for wish you. there was more I could do to help. Thanks for your help. Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's 
It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't Good. know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within. Yeah. Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Trip trap. Okay, maybe my Queen of Hearts uh, maybe prediction. You can this one. Still on the books. Yeah, maybe I should. Three apples. Big B. I um, just be careful, please. Okay. Same goes for you. I will. Happy face. Oh, hello. What do you want, Sheriff? Um, I'm looking, looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Well, look, I'm not even going to ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. Hmm. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... <laughs> I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? <laughs> nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> Okay. He a regular? I don't know who you're Never turned to drink and when seemed to turn to me, Benjamin the Franklin. <laughs> Never seen him. Of course. Hold up. Let's say... How do we tell what um, chapter we're on? Are we on chapter two right now? Achievements. Complete episode one, Faith. Okay, gotcha. Well, 
those of these walk out the door? Those matches yeah, were, we had those, the um, they were at the uh, apartment. Huh. You'll get a refund. Fuck you. A word's getting out. You'll never guess where I found the other one of these. No, I won't. His place. Who was here? Whose is that? Someone who left. Why didn't you dump it? If you want a cleaner place, feel free to get the fuck out of here. Oh, very the cigarettes are called Huff and Puff. Don't deny it. That's great. I'm good at picking up on this stuff. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. Okay. We're out of money, aren't we? Damn. That's funny. If we wouldn't have given our money to um um Faith, we would have had uh, we would have had money. Free beer tomorrow. A lot of stools in this place. But there's only one right next to you. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. <laughs> Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of here. Bum, 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 bum. Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. You'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Not sure I believe you. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Gren. Gren. Who's Gren? It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> well, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You 
know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. What? <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. What are you talking about exactly? Oh. Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob him. Huh. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. Did you kill Faith? What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Bigby, listen, I... I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? Mm. They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, I mean, but I didn't do it. Here, so might as well string he was him here. Up. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. Y you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's huh. what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop. This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody. Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. Only comes sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go. I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. Anyone tell you you've got a big fucking mouth? Oh, it gets bigger. Oh. Chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Huh. <laughs> shit, okay. Think of, oh, shit. Bam. Cigarettes. Party time. Oops. You're gonna need more than that. Wolf time. Oh. Get him in the other eye. It's wolf time. Ooh, got him. Oh, 
could have gone for the head too, I think. And there's the other eye. Ooh. Sweep the leg. He's had enough. Walk away. We're good. We're chill. We're chilling. Could have gone full brutality on him. I want him to know that. Whiskey. You were gonna pay for it anyway. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Two times Is I couldn't this pay for the it. type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in. Hey, he started it. Who's that? I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. What's up, baby girl? Oh, oh shit. Um... Tweedle. Fuck, man. That's not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me. Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. I feel like we can find the woodsman again later. I'm the Eggman Diner. I like that. Oh, is Woodsman gonna be dead? Do anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. No. Bell. Beauty. Or did they just finally find the head? What? We had something very special. I don't want spoilers for the next episode. Um, wow. Holy shit. I did not think she was going to die like that. Damn. I guess they did have a really nice moment together, so that makes sense that they would just kill her off. <laughs>